Ticket, www.yeticket.com. That's where you get us at, www.yeticket.com. Hey, I'm here with my boy, Alan. Hey. And Steve. Hello. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we three men, we're getting to review this movie. It's called Sex and the City 2. Part 2. Now, I'm going to give this a new name for a different category. This is not a chick flick. This is a woman's movie. That means for a little bit older women and also a little bit more intelligent women, but it still does serve the same purpose. Now, what I mean by that, well, let us tell you how we felt about the film. First, let's start off with Alan. How do you feel about it? Well, let's see. Um, if there wasn't a female fantasy they didn't cover in this movie, I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't think it was very intelligent. Um, I didn't particularly care for the flow. I didn't care for the script very much. The wedding in the beginning was fantastic. Funny, 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 funny. funny, funny. funny. The gay wedding? The gay wedding the gay was just beyond the beyond. And then I kind of... I wish I was there. Well, everybody should have been. <laughs> it was, yeah. We had a great party. We got to go to more gay weddings. They, an okay wedding like that, we should legalize it in all 50 states. <laughs> <laughs> just for the weddings, right? The wedding. Just for the weddings. <laughs> And receptions. <laughs> and, I mean, even Lisa Minnelli shows up in this thing. Oh, my God. Like, and they made her look good, too, it, didn't it, they? They did. They, they made did, Liza they Minnelli look they great. They got a round of applause from yeah. the movie theater crowd. From the movie theater. That's right. Well, she was very entertaining. She's very good. She's a great performer. Oh, the, the applause was deserved. I almost clapped. What well, do you think of the movie, Steve? Well, I can't believe I'm going to admit this on the Internet. I used to watch the show. I did too. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I can good. admit that. Okay, yes, I missed the show. Every episode. And it was, and you know, it was actually um, written, directed by Michael Patrick King, who wrote, the, you know, did the first movie, exactly. did this movie, did the show. It followed the tradition of the show. I'm with Alan. How it, you know, doesn't pace very well. There's a lot of funny scenes. Some characters develop, some don't. Maybe they're not supposed to develop. It was, you know, it go. It served the purpose that it, it, it set out to do. It's a Sex in the City movie. Any fan of the movie or the TV show, will enjoy this episode of the, of the four girls. You got a lot of the nice, you know, all the four walking in the fabulous fashion shots in slow motion. We have a lot of those. Of course. Of course. So it has all the, the stuff. It, you know, it was, it, was good for, it was good for what it set out to do. Yeah, that's right. That's, I agree with Steve about well, that. Well, we can talk about the things that are good in the film. The, the wedding sequence is great. Um, uh, uh, I actually love this little vignette, vignette that uh, Penelope Cruz did inside yes, of the film with yes, Chris Note. Of course, yeah. And uh, the fashions were phenomenal. Whoever, whoever well, that's what this whole the fashions. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But seeing them on the camels, I think I don't know what that was all about. Well, that just added There's something just to just it. Phil, there was just yeah, too much, design. too much, too much fill in this whole thing. But Abu Dhabi, the scenery in Abu Dhabi was beautiful. I, I just wish the movie was as beautiful as the scenery. Well, I enjoyed the movie. And also, you know, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker, she's still in this. And Christian Davis, Cynthia Nixon, Kim Cattrall, and uh, Eddie Eisenberg, Evan Handler, Alexander Fong, Peter show. Fong, and, you know, uh, Chris North is Mr. Big. You know, they're all here. You know, familiar characters, yeah. if you're familiar with the show. But like I said, I enjoyed this. There was a lot of laughs in this, and I thought the dialogue was very smart, too, because a lot of the characters came back with some quick comebacks, which were very good, too. That's why I enjoyed this. Uh, of course, you know, it got a little dry in the middle, just a little bit dry, but when they got over there to Abu Dhabi, I really enjoyed that part, too, because it was something different. and also really talked about the culture over there and showed you what the culture was about with these four women, four but, independent but, American women. So that's why that I like that, too. Don't you think that was contrived? It, remember, this is a movie, Alan. It's a movie. I understand, but they took them to Abu Dhabi, so it, it's a woman's film, so they could discuss these matters. But I think they just, like, glossed them over. I, I, I mean, well, yeah, it's, 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 it's not serious it's, problems. Right, because yeah, it's a comedy. It's, yeah, and it's, this is not the movie that's going to tackle the problems out in that in Exactly. That Why do you even discuss them? Why take them there? Why not take them to Africa or someplace else? Why take them there to because then the and then and then it'd be the, it'd be the same thing. They'll just right. gloss over that too. 
No matter yeah, what age. That's all it you is. Know what? Also, it's sex in the city, and this time they're, we're going to a new city. Yeah, but it's exactly. Really, you know, but, yeah. but if you don't turn over new ground, if you don't do new things, if you don't get more involved, then what's the point of doing another movie? Now, or? I will agree with you if you don't have new things and you don't get more involved. Yeah, but this is, I you mean, know, so this what is movie they do? business. They changed it from these girls were dating to now that they're married. Exactly. And they have relationships. Right. Zippy do. They push them right back into the original thing. They 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 put them in a situation where they're relatively yeah. single again. And then you know watch stir the pot and see what happens without any any meat to the script at all. So you know I can't I agree with a, you on if that. If I though. wanted a fashion show, and, and honest to God, the fashions were great, and the women are going to love this movie. For you, there's a million reasons why the women are going to love this movie. But every guy who goes to see it is going to be bored, just bored. Yeah, well, we're going to take them. We're going to take our wives and girlfriends to all the action movies this summer. We got to go to see. We got. We got to go see. <laughs> sec, we got to go see Sex in the City too. We got to do what I. Uh, and I said, I think for the women who go see this movie, they're going to be very happy with what they see. Yeah, the women are going to be very happy. I, but I, 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 your points are really valid, Alan. Exactly. But, but I don't think anyone's coming to see Sex in the City 2 for those issues. I don't exactly. I don't know why they're coming. For the characters. Because they watched the television show for years. For the characters. That's why they came. You know that Sarah Jessica Parker uh, pumped the money for this herself because... She got it done. She couldn't get I'm trying to get a movie done. I wish I could pump the money. Couldn't get anybody to back the film. So she did it. Well, that's, that's okay. I wish I could get my own money. Remember, so Robert Townsend did that, too. Spike Lee did that, did. too. So she, that means they – and they all had hits. So I, I see nothing wrong with that. Right, and Sarah Jessica Parker, she'll get her money back. Oh, then, definitely. But we'll see. How many palm tree, Alan? Uh, well, it's a woman's film. i got to look at it as a woman's film. No, I you don't. Look yeah, at it as I, Alan. No, no. I, gotta uh, I don't want you to turn on me, Alan, because I don't want to go to a gay wedding and see you get married. Come three, on. three palm trees at most. Okay. Uh, just a little more, three and a half palm trees. You think well, it's more than an average film? Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yes, and I, yeah, I'm, it's I'm, more than an I'm average also, film. I'm also grading it on based on what this movie is. Yeah. Not what I want it to be, what the movie is. Exactly. Movie, well, said, that's why I'm giving it four is, palm trees. If you were really taking it as what the movie was, Steve, then you would have to take into account that the script sucks, it's boring in the center, and the only, uh, the only thing that, the only merit of the whole film are these four girls talking about nothing and wearing dresses. But that's know. Sex in the City. But it's you know what? not a great movie. And, and For me, uh, it's Four Palm Trees. See, I, well, I see Four Palm Trees is great. I'm giving it three yeah. and a half. Just above, just a little above. I was, was, I was very, entertained. Yeah, was very easy on some. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I was entertained, Alan. That's, to me, the best value of a film. I was entertained. You could have gone away for the whole middle of the film, come back and seen it, and you not missed anything. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Could have. But, hey, that's Sex in the City 2. We just reviewed it. Three men. We got three palm trees from Alan. Three and a half from Steve. Four from Al McGee, ladies. Okay, one quick question I, more what? for Alan. Alan, who are you? Charlotte? Samantha? Or which one of the girls are you? Oh, interesting question. Um... Who's the older lady going through menopause? That's uh, Samantha. That's Samantha. It's Samantha. Yeah, I guess you'd put me in the Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get that on record before we close out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who I am. I think I'm a mixture of all of them because I'm Al McGee. <laughs> it's true. 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 Hey. How about you, Steve? How about you? Charlotte. I'm a Charlotte. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That's saying a lot. I, I hear Carrie's apartment's available. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey, this is your entertainment ticket, www.yeticket.com. That's where you get us at, yeticket.com. Hey, this is the great Alan Darnay. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the wonderful Steve. Yes. Thank you very much. But I'm the Al. Yeah. Al McGee. Keep watching us every day, baby. And the day after.